In this video, I'd like to show you how collections work in Media Library. Collections are a way of organizing files into one group. Let's demonstrate this by the following example. We are going to create an article. Then we are going to add media to the Media Library. Next, we are going to add some more media. And this time we are going to add it to the media collection called images. And finally, we are going to add some media again, this time a PDF file. And we are going to add it to a collection called downloads. Now let's hit that route and see what happens. So we are going to hit the route using collections. And if we take a look at the database, then you can see that we added those three files. And the first one got in a default collection, the second one in the images collection, and the final one in the downloads collection. Now let's take a look at how we can work with those collections. Let me open up a Tinker session and let's retrieve the last article and get all the media for it. And you can see that it now only returns a collection with that library Dublin file in it. So if you specify get media, then it will only return things in the default collection. If you want to retrieve files in another collection, you should pass the collection name to get media. So get media images. And now it returns that library Stuttgart file because that is the one in the images collection. And of course, when I try to retrieve the downloads collection, it retrieves that PDF file. Now I've added only one item to each collection, but of course you can add as many items to a collection as you want. Let me add this one to the images collection as well. Let's reset the demo so all files are in place. And let's visit that route again, so using collections. And if I open up Tinker and retrieve the last article and get the media, but only the images collection, I should get two files. So this is the Stuttgart file. And this is the Dublin file, so it works. And of course, when I take a look at the database, you can see that we now have two things in the images collection. The get first media function accepts a collection name as well. So if I do get first media images, then I will get the first image. And of course, I can call get URL on this one as well. And I can call get path on this one as well. If you try to get an image collection that is empty, so non-existing collection or something like that, then you'll get an empty collection. And if you do that with get first name, then it returns null. Of course, you can name your image collections however you want. You can have as many as you want, and you can put as many files in them as you want as well. 